Like other types of vibration tests, shock tests are used to measure the reliability and durability of an object under test. Many different devices are required to withstand shock pulses. Both consumer and military standards are written to test devices for impulse durability. Shock tests are easy to identify based on their high peak acceleration and distinctive sound. Shock tests output a series of pulses to excite the structure under test. Shock tests are controlled using a profile defined in the time domain. Pulse time duration and peak acceleration are generally the two defining characteristics of a shock pulse. Profiles vary from one testing standard to another and are limited by the displacement, velocity, and acceleration of the shaker. This is a half sine shock profile. It is the most typical pulse used. This pulse is called sawtooth. This pulse is an example of a trapezoidal shape. Here is the control signal. It is the acceleration signal measured on the testing article. The closer the control signal can match the defined pulses, the better. With this test, you can see the control signal matches the target profile very well. Crystal Instruments vibration controllers are designed with many different safety features. The system detects when input channels are overloaded or lost, which can indicate a sensor fault or disconnect. The test will abort if this occurs. In the event of an accidental network disconnect or power outage, the controller system is able to save test data to prevent loss. Crystal Instruments fourth generation vibration controller is completely network based. The Spider controller achieves the highest accuracy and reliability of any controller on the market. Thousands of controllers equipped with shock are used in laboratories around the world.